What is up guys, my name is Superman, this is episode number 12, or the second episode of season number 2 of my new castle, Career Mode in FIFA 18. Now, in the last episode, if you don't remember, we signed Werner and Coman and also Ojeko to join on a pre-contract. So that is great. Now we can't sign any good players because, you know, we don't have that amount of money. I only have 6.6 .6 million around 90 in wages. Uh, so you know that's that's not really a lot of money, and just just financially we still have enough money, but we'll have to say. I mean, I don't know why it says current funds 46.3 because it's just that's weird. Maybe it still hasn't. Um, how could it say refreshed? But anyways, I think we are on the wrong side of that financial thing, so we still have to sell a few players probably. Uh, we also need to work on youth staff. So let's bring this guy to Slovenia, because why not? And also, let's hire a new scout. Although they're only shitty ma scouts right now. So wait up until the scout um, roster refreshes, and then we'll send another scout out. We get a loan offer for Jacob Murphy, and I think I'm going to accept it. He will probably, you know, grow and play a lot at that team. Okay, so Jacob Murphy has been loaned out, that is good for his development, and we sadly haven't sold anyone else, which means we will have to sell some players in the January transfer window, so we'll be able to, if we want to, I'm, I'm still not sure if I will actually um, try to, you know, well, it says he's loaned out, why is he still here? That's weird. Anyways, I'm not sure if I want to achieve the financial objective, because it's an annoying one. We all know it's an annoying one, because, you know, you have the money, and then you say don't spend. They just don't give me the money, you know, that's an annoying thing. But anyways, let's end this, and we'll be able to play some games after this. We got a transfer for Carl Dahl, though just a bit too late. But still, anyways, I will negotiate a better offer, and they gave me 1.6, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's worth 2 million, so I'll propose 2.5, and hopefully they don't storm out. Okay, they're going to give me 2.25, I'm absolutely happy with that, so he will be leaving us probably next uh, in the next window. Okay, so we have Stoke City away, let's go. Okay, so I guess I could say three players are making his de de their debut under me. I know they played already, but anyways, I think Common hasn't. But Werner and Oje could play under you know my command when I was simulating, I guess. But this is the first time me actually playing with them. So Werner will start up top, Paris in number ten, Lingard and Common on the wings, Shelby and Oje could behind. I have Martin, Lejean, Lascelles, and Makeda at the back. Trapping goal on the bench will have Mbemba, Yedlin, Atsu, Saive, Aaron's Hayden, and Alexander Mitrovic. Let's go. It's Coma. Kingsley Coma. Pass it. Perez 1 0. What a ball from Ojekan. Ojekup. It goes to Coman. So, two are new signings combined with assist and pre assist. And it goes to Jose Perez who finishes it off. We are leading 1 0. A very good play. Dangerous. Motherfucker. That's really unlucky. First a very soft free kick and then an annoying goal to concede, but it is how it is. 1-1 at halftime. We would deserve to be like 2 or 3-0 up, but they scored against the run of play and it's 1-1. Come on, cross it in. Someone. No! You gotta be kidding me. And that's also the full time. Ah, we had a, such a good chance to win it at the end, but no luck. We finish is 1-1. It's time for some squad training. We have Novak going up. By the way, Coman is now also in training for third position. We got a transfer for Ivan Tony. They're offering me 1.5 million. That's actually not bad, I'll just accept it. Okay, I'm going to simulate this game against Norwich, but with my second team, because just after a few days after this we have Champions League time. Let's see how much players fare. Very good. We got a 2-0 win. That's exactly what we needed with from our second team. And now, as you can see, it's Celtic in the Champions League. And who do we have? We have Paris Saint-Germain, Galatasaray, and Celtic in our group. A pretty difficult one, but I think we could get through it. 
Okay, we are starting our Champions League run against Celtic away, so let's go. Okay, this will be the squad. It's going to be the same as in the last game we played. Werner, Perez, Lingard, Coma, Shelby, Ojekup, Martin, Lejean, Lascelles, Manquillo, Trapp, and on the bench we'll have Mbemba, Yadlin, Atsu, Saive, Aarons, Hayden, and Mitrovic. Let's go. 0-0 zero, zero at half time. I'll I would say it's a pretty deserved result for both teams right now. I really hope we can get a win in the second half because Celtic are probably, you know, maybe even the weakest team in the group alongside got that. So I think we're like the second favorites, but anyways, uh, let's just try to get ourselves a win. Damn it, it's Gonzalez, that could be dangerous. No, god damn it. <sighs> they score and we need to get back into the game. Ah, uh, god damn it. Gonzalez, they take it back. <laughs> god damn it. 2 0 for them. Can we get a draw, please? It's Mbemba. Come on. Here we go. Who is this? Is it Paris? Yes, I think Paris scores. Come on, pick up the ball. Come on. We can still get something out of this game. No way. I mean, this ref is just fucking drive or something. You gotta be kidding me. 3 1 at the end, but. Just not. Just not how the game went. We were freaking destroying Celtic, but their goalkeeper and the referee were just on fire today. So, yeah, we get a loss. Okay, guys, we have Bournemouth away. Let's go and play this game. Okay, um, Lingard is just not playing good lately, so I've brought Richie in and put Common on the left side. Anyways, Werner we have on top, uh, Paris in number 10, Common and Richie on the wing, Xavi is always a bit behind, I have Martin, Lejean, Lascelles, Manke at the back with Trapp and goal. On the bench are going to be Mbemba, Yedlin, Lingard, Saive, Aarons, Atsu and Alexander Mitrovic. Let's go ourselves, let's go and get ourselves a W. Come on. Shelby! Yes! What a good assist from Kingsley Coma. He's really playing good at this first few games. Uh, and Shelby scores, so great. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do this to me. Fuck me. I hate when this happens, but. Okay. Werner. To Perez. Here we go! A Jose Perez scores again, an assist from Timo Werner. Ah, that is really good. We're back in the lead. Perez is scoring for fun again this year. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. 2 1 at the halftime. Pretty good result until now. Uh, the only bad thing is that Ojekup got injured, so that's not really good, but hopefully not for too long. Anyways, we're leading. Let's go to the second half. No, oh, no. Oh, we get lucky. Oh, no. Damn it. Bournemouth are back in the game. Lucas Piazzon scores, and it's all square again. I can't believe this goal. He has so many freaking chances, but the goalkeepers are just always fucking on form. Time for some squad training. Let's see. Kreinz has gone up to 67. And even better news, Ojekan Ojekub, Ogushan Ojekub is out for two fucking months. Okay, one thing I have to do, I think, is switch Lingard and Coman. They're both right-footed, but I think Coman is more of a dribbler, and more, more of a, you know, cutting on his right foot. And Lingard is, you know, kind of a crosser, I suppose, more. Let's see how good his crossing is. Uh, what is his crossing? 75. How good is his? 79. He has better crossing, but I don't know, I just think that Lingard has is more suited for the right side. So anyway, Saive will now play in the first team due to Ojeku being injured. He was really playing good, so that's very, very annoying that happened. You know, when he was really in form, uh, for some reason, Murphy still hasn't gone out on loan. I don't know why that, but... Anyways, this is it for this episode. It was a pretty frustrating one, because we were better in both three games, but we drew two and lost one, so that's that's just, you know, annoying as hell, but anyways, that's for the episode, um, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, make sure to do all the good stuff, until next time, peace.